I don't think I was really involved in the very beginning of, of the anti-war movement. It really didn't hit me until about 1967. Um, and I think being at Berkeley in that time when demonstrations were being organized, the salient lesson that we were beginning to learn, that is Berkeley radicals, whatever you want to call us, was that um, one, we couldn't trust what was in the press, that we were being lied to, and that you had to um, sort of up the ante in some way if you were going to have an effect. I think that that would be fair to say. Um, I remember one of the first fairly violent demonstrations. Uh, I guess it was the Oakland Stop the Draft demonstration, which took place somewhere around 1967. And it was the first demonstration I'd ever seen where there was actually fighting with police, where people actually put on helmets and uh, were carrying almost cardboard shields. And uh, yet, and I remember being sort of, I mean, I didn't have a helmet or shield, but I was like, in these crowds with people, the feeling among the participants at the time, feeling that we had had that we were sort of a mobile kind of go where we wanted to go, and therefore could thwart the tear gas, and and that there thereby we're going to be able to sort of keep up this 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 attack on on the forces. I don't, I don't know. It was something like away from this demonstration feeling fairly elated. Pretty strange, you know, thinking about it now. I'm not sure that it had, uh, you know, that any of these demonstrations had as much as we thought.